Hello, my dear YouTube friends. Today, uh, we are talking about being your best friend or your worst enemy, and how can you be your best friend? And honestly, the way to be your best friend is to follow your planner. And we're talking about best friend in homemaking, which is what I'm teaching you, okay? Homemaking or office keeping or child caring, <laughs> all those things that are part of a better life for you. Um, so today, if you want to be your best friend and not your worst enemy, please keep a planner. Please check off what you do in that planner every day. List what you need to do and check it off. So it's plan your work and work your plan and then track it. That is going to make you your best friend because at the end of the day, you're going to say, wow, I did so much today and it felt like I have so much more time because you're not spinning your wheels. When you don't plan it out and you just hit the next thing, hit the next thing, it's a constant distraction. You never really get anything done and you're always kind of miserable and thinking, I never get to rest. I go, go, go all day long because a lot of times we're making more mess than we're fixing by halfway doing things and then you step on it and walk over it and spread it around, whatever. Okay, so be your best friend and keep a planner and work in your planner and track in your planner. Um, it's, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, there is someone that I watch on YouTube, a YouTube channel called Dish with D. She's darling. And she lost a lot of weight. And she said, um, you know, I've been to Weight Watchers five times. This is my fifth rodeo, she calls it. And this time I lost all my weight. It's over 100 pounds. And she said, before I would lose some weight and I would stop losing weight. And I'd say, this doesn't work for me. But this time she said, I decided to do exactly what they said. And one of the things to do is to track what you eat. So you plan out what you're going to eat and then you track it. You say, yep, I did that. Yep, I did that. They put it in a little, a little online thing to keep track of how many points you've eaten. And she lost all of her weight. Now, once she lost all of her weight, she went into maintenance and she thought, okay, cool. I know how to do this. I don't need to track anymore. Sound familiar? And so she gained 20 pounds back very quickly. And she said, oops, I guess I'm going to have to track for the rest of my life. But she said, you know, if somebody had told me this when I was 125 pounds overweight or whatever, um, if they said, hey, Denise, if you track your food every day, you're going to lose all of your weight. If you're consistent, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be consistent. You're going to lose all your weight and you can keep it off forever, but you have to track every day. She said, I would have thought, that's a breeze. I have a plan. I track the plan for the rest of my life. And that's all I have to do is, is do what I say I'm going to do. I could do that. That's easy. But when you tell somebody in the midst of it, oh, you have to track. Like right now, I'm telling you, you have to track in a planner. You say, track in a planner. Oh, that's so hard. I don't have time to plan it. I just don't have time. That's why you can't get it done. That's why you say, oh, this plan doesn't work for me. No plans work for me. I'm a hopeless case. Whatever. Don't say that to yourself. Tracking does work, and it's what you need to do. And you have to do it forever, and it's not too bad. Look at some beautiful people online. Um, take Jennifer Scott, the Daily Connoisseur. She still uses a planner, but look how she, how her life is. She's peaceful. She's such a lady, and I admire her so much. But she uses a planner. I use a planner. I've been teaching this for nine years, and I use a planner. I've been following the fly lady kind of system since 2000, and I use a planner. Before her, I used um, uh, Sidetracked Home Executive's plan. I didn't use a planner. I used cards. Um, and I cannot say I was perfect. I would fall off the cards, and I would fall off the planner. But I would say now with this planner, this particular planner that I have, you know, I'm, I know I sound like a salesperson, <laughs> but I'm not. This is my friend Kimmy from She's in Her Aprons Planner. It is the daily planner. It is the best planner that I have ever used. It is the best planner that I've ever used. It will enable you to track everything every day. And it lets you focus on one day at a time. So I highly recommend that you go look at She's in Her Apron.com shop and look at her planners and look at the daily planners. Those are the ones. Okay. So I have three daily planners, one for four months, another one for four months and another one for four months. When you look at the price that is per planner and you can buy a planner one at a time, or you can buy them all three at a time. Um, you can get a payment plan with no interest if that's more helpful to you. Um, but the thing I will say is 
that if you do get one planner, say for example, you get the January through February, March, April planner, then in March of that planner, at the end of March, you put in there buy second planner and you put it in the month at a glance, the week at a glance, and even go to the day and put buy planner. You want to buy it a month in advance. You want to have it in your hands when the month is over. Otherwise, you'll wait until we're already in the month and then you'll end up kind of like you are now getting a planner two months into the plan and that's wasteful and you're not really getting taking advantage of this. But use something to check it off. I will say that I think the absolute worst thing is to say, oh, I'm just going to do it in my head. That's just like doing maintenance on Weight Watchers in your head. You're going to lose ground, and you're going to lose ground doing this in your head. The second worst thing is something very complicated. Um, I don't know about bullet journals today. I used to do bu bullet journals years ago, and they were so complicated to me because I wanted to decorate them and draw the pretty things, and I wasn't really paying attention to what I really had to do. That was like, oh, but the pretty stuff, that was fun. But if you put it in a planner that's already out there for you, just put it in there. It's going to make a huge difference. So be your best friend, not your worst enemy. Start being who you want to be. You remember my video on success? It's actually uh, desire plus determination equals success. That's really the title that just wouldn't fit on the outside. So desire is what do you want? So what do you want? Why are you here? Did this just pop up in your YouTube videos and you're kind of interested because it's how to take care of your home and that's something that everybody's interested in when you're super sidetracked? That's the people that I focus this on. Or um, have you been using this for a while and you just aren't, it isn't working because you keep trying to do it your way? You know, desire is what you want. And what do we want? We want a streamlined, tidy, peaceful home. That's your desire. How do you get there? That's your determination. That is your plan. And checking it off every day, each thing, that is determination. I did my morning routine. I did my laundry. I made my dinner. I took my after, you know, I did my after, um, my before bed routine. I, I did all these things. I did my weekly home blessing hour. Whatever it is, you check it off. That's determination. It's a form of discipline. Success is a streamlined, tidy, and peaceful home where your family can live without chaos and you can spend more time with them. And you won't be saying, I'm always working, I'm always working. Because you will discover that there is time for you to do things, other things, besides spinning your wheels. Okay, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.